Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about how we can read a value from an internal table and also to modify that particular entry from the internal table. So in your traditional ABAP programs what you do is you have this read statement with using which you actually read a particular value from an internal table and then you do a size sub RC check and then you actually try to modify that particular value if needed or you put, you, you, in particular you will read that particular value and do something with that. So with the new approach, we are having a new update with the uh, with the new syntax, wherein you can uh, read this particular value and also modify with one or two lines of codes. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started and see how it works. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would request you to uh, please subscribe to my channel and also please uh, do watch this video till the end. All right, so let us begin. So I'm going to define my first, uh, my structure as uh, begin of ty underscore data, okay. I'll provide the first column name as uh, name, uh, name, I'll provide it as char20 and also role. So particularly in role, I'll provide the programming language, okay. And uh, now I'll define my internal table as it underscore data, I'll set standard table, okay. So the time to keep things simple, I'm uh, creating this standard table only. Okay, so the name of the internal table is it underscore data. So now what I'll do is I'll uh, provide some values inside this uh, particular internal table. I'll use the value operator. So if you haven't watched my video on value operator, please go back, check that uh, video and then come back to this video. I'll put a link on this uh, screen somewhere. Okay, and then I'll provide the name as Suraj here. Okay, and the role as ABAP. Okay, let this be my first entry and then I'll provide name as uh, maybe Sam and the role as maybe Java and then I'll provide the name as uh, Sachin maybe and then I'll provide the role as Python. Okay, now let us see the output using CL demo output class display method it underscore data is what I want to see. So there are three entries which I am providing in that internal table. So let us see how the output looks like. So you have three entries, whatever I have written, um, you can see them in the output. So now my requirement here is to read this particular value Sachin. Okay. So in your usual ABAP programs, what you will do is you will read with key name equal to Sachin, right? But in the new syntax, using the new syntax, how I will do that, just observe this. I'll say it underscore data. This is my internal table and I'll open and close a square bracket. And inside this, I'll provide the column name. What is the column name? As a key or the column name, I'll provide it as such a name equal to such. And I want to find out the, 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 I want to read the value based on the name equal to such. Okay. This is what I'm doing. And then I'm going to insert it to a <coughs> new variable called result maybe. Okay, so I'm reading this particular row completely. These two values are going to come. Okay, I'm reading these two values, right? Because I'm reading that particular row based on the key. Just like how you do read uh, I tab, read table I tab into work area. Okay, so that work area value I'll get if I do this, if I write this syntax. Let us see. <coughs> Let me execute, uh, let me uh, try to display the result now, activate. So result you'll find Sachin and Python, okay. Both the values are coming. So if, what if I want only the role, I want to know what is the role of Sachin. I'll do it like this, okay, put a hyphen and then write the column name which you are looking for. So here you've got Python, okay, I'm, I'm writing it like this, hyphen and then the column name, all right. If I want name, I can do that also. Whatever be the column, you can provide it using hyphen. So I'm reading based on the key as name, right? So you can see it here, right? So I'm reading based on this particular column, okay? And then I'm provide, uh, trying to get this role, right? This is what I was doing, okay? So that is about uh, reading the particular value. Now, what if I read a particular value which is not existing in this table? Suppose if I'm reading John, 
okay i'm trying to read a value which is not in that particular internal table it underscore data so what will happen now let me activate okay it is syntactically correct everything is fine but you can see there is a dump coming so i'll copy this exception it is throwing an exception right so i'll go to this particular program again and i'll try to wrap this particular statement inside uh, try and try block okay i'll put it in try and then i'll catch this exception which was throw it was throwing uh, just now you saw that right so that particular thing i will catch it and then maybe i'll try to write something like uh, not found okay i don't want to print the result now okay because john is not existing right you can see not found so this particular uh, this particular statement through an exception and that exception has been taken care of uh, by me in this program okay i am catching that exception and i am writing something under that so that means that particular uh, block of code will get triggered because the name is john okay because it is doesn't exist in the system so this is about uh, doing this uh, try catch now i don't want to use this try catch basically so what is the other alternative i'll do a if i'll do, use a, a operator called line exist okay i'll use an operator called line exist so this will basically check if this line exists in the system okay i'm checking if this particular value with the na uh, column name john exist in this internal table it underscore data so that is what i'm uh, doing using this line exist keyword okay line exist operator so i'm providing a brackets inside that i am reading this okay i'm asking if this is existing in this internal table or not if it exists then i'll say the value exists okay otherwise i'll say value does not exist okay so now it will say value does not exist right because john is not there in the system in the in this internal table so value does not exist so but what if i read suraj it will say value exists right the value exists so this is how you can basically this is like in a traditional lab program it is like reading internal table and then doing a size sub rc check same thing you are doing here okay with one line of code with using the keyword line exists okay now i want to find what is the index of this particular value i want to check what is the index of this it underscore data for this it underscore data sam value sam column okay no the uh, the column name is name itself and for sam for this particular entry what is the what is the row number what is the row number in this particular in the, uh, internal table what is the index of that particular uh, this this particular entry in the internal table that is what i am checking so for that what you can do is you can make use of the uh, operator called line index okay again just like a line exists you can uh, wrap it inside brackets okay <clears throat> and i am asking uh, the system what is the index of this particular entry in the internal table so it has to return me what it has to return me a value i'll uh, provide it as uh, lv underscore index so it will return me a value of 2 right because it is in the second index right activate it exists in the second index right because it is in the second uh, position in the internal table and it's a standard table i have not sorted it also so it is in the second index so if i want such in it will show me the result as 3 right because it's in the third index 3 okay now i will actually uh, bring back my um, cl demo output just to display this it underscore data okay it's already there okay so now what i if, if what if i want to update this particular uh, name value of suraj to something else i want to update now okay now just just now what we have seen is just reading that particular 
a particular entry from this internal table it underscore data a particular entry or a particular record from this internal table now i want to modify that particular record which i am getting okay now my requirement is that i want to for it underscore data name equal to suraj i want to change this value to something else <coughs> the name value okay before that let me ch uh, tell you one, one more thing so, suppose if i write it like this now let us see what will happen okay so this is before this is after the modification right let us see what is going to happen <coughs> so you can see uh, what i did was i was just equating that to john right the particular uh, but it actually changed the complete row okay see i didn't want to change the abap I want I I wanted to adapt to X is the same. I just wanted to change Suraj, but it changed both. Okay, why? Because I was just trying to, you know, change the complete row. This will return me a row, right? As you had seen while reading the internal table, this will return me a row. Now, what if I want to update only the name? So I can say hyphen name. Okay, this is just for reading a particular cell value. Okay, not a row, a cell value. If I want to read, so you can see, uh, John is uh, Suraj is getting replaced by John here. Okay, it got changed, but ABAP is the same, right? The role is the same. Okay, so this is how we can update a particular cell value of a record. Okay, so if I want to change some other column, like I want to change the role of Suraj to maybe Python, how do I do that? Like this hyphen role role is the column and i'm changing it to python okay this is being specific i'm being specific on what i want to change okay so you can see suraj the role is changed from abap to python here okay yeah so that is it basically for this uh, video okay so if you really liked my video please give a thumbs up and also provide something in the comment okay it's always good to read your comments and also if you have not subscribed to my channel i will request you to subscribe to my channel also thank you keep watching the channel okay thank you bye bye